So the underground is evolving. It's uh, you know it's growing. And you've been around to see the growth. So uh, just in, in your opinion, man, what are some things that you think should be changed in the underground? Just the judging, just the judging. I mean, sometimes the setting, you know, the ring and shit, uh, the canvases that they pick and or whatever. But it's the underground, you know. That's the beauty of it, you know. Yeah. Shit, you get in, you get in there wherever you get in. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But really, just the judging. You know what I mean? Because everything else been getting better and better each each fight, each year. I've seen a lot of things get perfected. As far as you know, keeping up with the time and and uh, I can't, you know, I I want to say riffing because it be hard on the riffs and people blame the riffs, but the job is hard at, for the riffs because the underground riffs because it's just so much going on. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we we but they working on it. All the riffs have been working on it. They getting better. You know, I don't think it, I ain't, I can't really say I ain't seen too much biasness, but as far as the uh, judging. See. What are we missing to take it a step further? As far as underground, though. What's the underground mission to take it another big step? Uh, I want to say uh, getting a few more celebrities involved, whether they local celebrities or you know they uh, you know just a uh, social media uh, famous, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Just bringing more of them people in, you know what I'm saying? So that way, it can spread out a little further on the live videos and stories and reels and TikToks, you know, people gonna spread the word. They come to this shit, they gonna tell somebody. They gonna tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gonna wanna come watch this. Right. Yeah, how you feel about the Guns and the Legos movie, bro? It's dope, man. It's giving, it's giving people an outlet, even, including me, you know what I'm saying? Give everybody you know, so another activity to stay involved in instead of getting into some extra shit. Then, like I said, it's opening people's eyes that a lot of their ass really can't fight. You know what I mean? They're not as tough as they thought they was, or they need they they need to get in the gym. You know, learn like some type of self defense, jujitsu, something. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it also teach you know it give you it humble you and uh, it teach you a lot about people and their personalities. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't always get the meanest looking person who can really, you know, do damage to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, yeah, it's, it's dope on that end too. And uh, it's, it's keeping boxing alive, man. We're making punch. What they call it? Uh, making punch and break again. Make you know what I'm saying? Making punch and break again, man. Guns down, gloves up, get punched on. Facts. Like it pops you too. So, give me a percentage on how much you believe the guns down, gloves up is making an impact on the community. In a positive way. You said percentage? Yeah, shit. Yeah, at least 80, at least 75, 80, because, you know, a lot of these dudes be out here shooting motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They can be out here robbing, hustling, doing all type of wild shit, bro. And they really, I, I see a lot of guys actually taking their health serious now. Like, they stop smoking, they stop drinking because they want to fight, they want to be in shape. You know what I mean? So, that's that's dope. You know what I mean? Like, because shit, you know, I'm. I stay smoking and drinking, but, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm no longer the real pub daddy, you know what I'm saying? That, that nickname <laughs> is out of her. <laughs> Shit. 